All right, so guys, here we are. And here you can see we are going to go QB. I like getting up to this middle fairway if at all possible. So one of the things that you'll see, I typically try to land right around here. Now what this curl is going to do is it'll typically allow this to go just a little bit farther. So you'll see five rings up lands somewhere around there. Um, you'll also see that I'm very careful with the way that I adjust my rings. Make sure that it's kind of over here. And I got to make sure eight rings down looks pretty good. So I'm thinking somewhere up in here. We're going to do a significant amount of curl here. Perfect ball. Make sure that you don't add any overpower on your curl. And it looks like just clips. Just barely, um, you know, not what we're looking for. So it just barely clipped the rough. We could just make a micro adjustment next time. I really do recommend getting out there if you can. Um, and that's one of the main, wow, what are you doing in pro with a POC 6? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. I can't make any sense of this. But uh, you can see, you know, when you get these tailwinds, um, you can see my opponent going out to that middle island as well. I'm just going to pitch out. Um, so we're still going to go with this shot so you guys can actually see how it plays. Um you know, so we don't waste the guide. You guys can fine-tune that drive. If you have QB10, even better. Because what a QB10 will allow is a little bit more topspin. But a 9 should be fine. Um, as long as you clip that fairway there, it should still roll out when you use all that curl. You should be able to get it there. So all we're going to do here is just pitch out to the fairway. So this is where the ball will land if we're able to do it right. And we'll be very close to mid-ish mid club actually i may not be able to quite get qb um nine up as far as i just did but i can probably get a qb 10 up to where i just did so i might be just a little bit ambitious with where i just pitched that ball to however if you have something with um you know a little bit more topspin like a qb 10 or if you can pull that off with even an early apocalypse you can do it with an apoc 2 so um something to think about but you'll just have to be a little bit careful with your ring pull. But that is the shot that I recommend. It's worth taking the risk. You know, I mess it up on the first time. But then, you know, once I start honing in and start getting comfortable with the adjustment, I'm able to pull it off all through the weekend. So that's more or less what you want to practice. And just get very refined with how you play that shot. Because the more practice, the better off you'll be. And as I mentioned, it's just going to give you this really nice shot here when you get up here so you'll see we're kind of court towards mid club a bit you might be towards max with qb9 typically play with tailwinds maybe half a bar backspin still want to keep that ball guide kind of going through the hole a little bit tends to kind of short hop a little bit so other than that typically very close to a mid ring adjustment I'll pull down to 5.7, I'm thinking. 5.6, somewhere in there. Perfect ball. And just off. But you can see how makeable that shot really is going to be. And that's one of the main reasons that you want to kind of risk it on that drive. Because getting that to that fairway is going to give you a very straightforward um, wind and something very makeable. So hopefully you guys can get it. Good luck with that hole. I'll see you guys on the next one.